Caterpillar? It's a big company, a successful company. That's what happens when you listen to the customer and care enough to do the job right. One of their first jobs was making sure farmers didn't get stuck in the mud. It was Benjamin Holt who bolted tracks under a steam tractor, replaced steam with gasoline power, and put the track-type tractor to work. That was in California. His nephew opened a factory in East Peoria, Illinois in 1910, same year they trademarked the word Caterpillar. Two years later, C.L. Best started making his own track-type tractors, called them track layers, and put them to work. Long story short, the best ideas of all these people were combined in 1925. That's when the trademark turned into a company, the Caterpillar Tractor Company. They had a mix of Best and Holt machines to start, then came the 20, the first tractor designed by the new company. Built their first motor grader in 31. Their first diesel tractor that same year. People loved those diesel engines. Cut their operating costs in half. So they kept building. Hoover Dam. Golden Gate Bridge and improving and building their machines. They kept working in times of strife. And when peace came, they led the rebuilding effort. When it was over, Caterpillar really started growing. And new opportunities really opened up. I remember it like it was yesterday, fall 1946. That was when my good friend Pee Wee and I began our journey. The day I learned that Pee Wee actually read the newspaper. Of course, I knew all about Caterpillar. I just didn't know what the folks would think. After all, running a machine is a lot different from building one. They're both important, but you can only do one at the end of our road. I guess for me, that day, well, I wanted to be a builder. Turns out Pee Wee did too. It was the day the future began. We were excited about being on the road, headed to a new place, a new life. We were also a little scared. All we could do was imagine where we were going and where a caterpillar would take us. New places to go, new places to work, new ways of working, new people to help. The first scrapers, the first self-propelled scrapers, the track loader, the big D9, that would come in 1954. We would go wherever our customers needed us, from the far north to the mid-east to just trying to keep warm in Antarctica. Caterpillar had always exported machines, but we would start making machines overseas. We would build the roads of an ambitious nation, hire more engineers, technicians, mechanics, more farm boys like me, farm girls too. We'd learn and grow, start making something called a wheel-type excavator. 
It would take us a while to start calling it a wheel loader and trucks. If you have loaders, you need something to load. We would make it to the moon. That's one small step for man. Or at least supply the power to the communication stations that would tell us about that one small step. We would raise our sights. We would pick up our tracks. Of course, what did I know back then? Heck, all I really knew was I was on a great adventure. Well, that and Pee Wee. He wasn't about to let me drive. I said to him, you know, you're going to have to do something about your name. What do you want them to call you at Caterpillar? He thought about it and said, I expect after I'm there a few days, they'll be calling me Mr. Pee Wee. <laughs> I thought so too. But I didn't tell him that. I had a pretty good imagination back then. I imagined that Caterpillar would start making a lot of things that were not tractors. That we would keep growing to the point that words like import and export would lose their meaning. We would be at home everywhere. Ready with plans ready to build, and when necessary, ready to rebuild. Now, I didn't know that we'd start buying other companies. But the thing to remember is we didn't buy them because they were different. We bought them because they were just like us, helping their customers become successful, growing to meet the need we would introduce some pretty big ideas and put some of those ideas in some pretty small packages. We'd introduce new technology for new challenges. I think we all like breathing cleaner air. And we'd help our customers keep that yellow iron rolling for years on end. Sometimes you wonder what you'll see next. But it's even better when you make it happen. That's progress. That's Caterpillar. It's all about the journey. Welcome to Caterpillar. So where do you see your future at Caterpillar? Well, I have to say, I saw a great one.